after 10 minutes of play. So I mentioned Alice shot. Nile for Team France. Inside the arc. And I said she's studying to be a lawyer. She can make a case as the best player in this tournament. And we'll see how it goes down. This is game one. Day one. And Ale to the cup, lays it in to get the scoring started for Argentina. This is a team that uh, isn't much of a scouting report, given that all four players are making their national team debut. We're hoping that that lack of familiarity works in their favor, maybe shock some people. Argentina has been represented at every World Cup. Uh, their best finish, though, was eighth in 2016, hoping for a better outcome this time around. Look at the defense there from Nayo. And out of bounds off of Argentina. Ball over to Team France. Shot clock in three basketball, 12 seconds. Let's see what the Le Bluets can do as Paget swings it over. Open from two is missed. And Tayo couldn't get his go down. Joanne Tayo, the 29 year old. 1-0 game again, 10 minutes on the game clock, 12 on the shot clock. Ooh, nice finish there. Beautiful drive and a good score from Victoria Jorente. And here's Tayo. Oh, has he? Oh, no. Uh-oh. She wants to put some ankles in her pocket. And shot clock violation took a little bit too long after the cross. Nice move, though. She said, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get some mixtape material. Argentina with the 2 nothing lead. Top two teams from each pool. We'll move on to the medal rounds. The teams that we see in action today uh, will be back in action the day after tomorrow for the second and final day of pool play for pools B and, uh, B and D. A and C will be in action tomorrow. So first, uh, first Buck 15 of this one has been Argentina. As France still looks for their first bucket. Can they get it here? Ooh. In and out. It's a no go for Tayo. Here's Ale off the mark. Rebound underneath. Diallo. 1.93. Oh, nice for what? Diallo. Using the strength and getting uh, France on the board. Ale nowhere to go. Hands it off. Good defense here from Team France. And Argentina able to get the shot up to beat the shot clock, but uh, they miss it. Tayo swings it over. Page getting it down low. In the paint like a paintbrush. As Diallo evens it up at two apiece. Ale, oh, difficult shot. Look at the body control underneath. Usually you'll see that put up with the left, but she scores with the right to put Argentina out front. Bump plus the bucket. As Christelle Diallo asserting herself early in this one. Diallo likes to, be, uh, likes to go as Chris. Keep it simple, making her debut with this uh, French national team. She has represented oh, France in two categories. Won a silver medal in 2018 at the under 18 Euro European Championships. So she, she got some experience under her belt. Oh, nice move. Take that with you. It's Rorente. Jorente, excuse me. Gets the reverse to go. It's four up. Game one, day one. And it's going to be France ball. Team France, once again, silver medalist in 2012. One of the favorites to advance to the medal rounds, not shockingly, with Alice Nayo leading the charge. Her third appearance at the World Cup. No good. Paige, nope. Speaking of Nayo, oh, got a stuff slap on that play. Now she got a D up. Let's see if she can contain uh, Jorente here. Looks like that one's going to go off the foot of 
Rietta, Ale. And a break in the action. So we're just Our first break in the action. The party started. Come on. So uh, just a few minutes into it. Four nothing game. She gonna be trouble. <laughs> Christelle Diallo using that size to her advantage. It's not gonna be many ladies that, on, that are, will match up with her in terms of her size out here and her strength. But that's where your quickness comes in. See what I mean? Baseline spin and score. Torrente. So the four lady crew of Julieta, Belen Ale, Brenda Schmidt, Julieta Mungo, Victoria Jorente, represent Argentina, Cristel Diallo, Alice Nayo, Joanna Tayo. Oh, two piece from the corner. France up by a deuce. Oh, Tayo can extend the floor like that. A lot of confidence shooting that two ball. And if you're new to the game, anything outside of the arc worth two, anything inside the arc is worth one. Seven fouls puts you in the penalty. Ten puts you in a double penalty. You don't want to be there. Pajet, two ball up. To the right, to the right. Missed it. Jorente, oh, nice Hezzy. Taking it at Nayo, spins and wins. I like this matchup. This is tasty between Nayo and Jorente, two similarly styled players battling it out. Splash from the corner once again. It's Tayo. So Nayo going to the block and just missed the shot. Jorente, nowhere to go on the baseline, lost the rock. Nayo says, give me them cookies. Oh, Tayo. Hezzy through the legs. Good D. And then Pajet. She leaves it short. And it's going to be a jump ball. In that case, going to be awarded to the defense. As per the 3x3 rules. So Argentina will have it at the top of the key. Midway mark of the first game, five minutes. France with a three-point lead. Oh, my goodness. Ale passed Paget like she had her feet stuck in cement. Llorente swings it to the wing. Nice, uh, nice player movement from Argentina. You rarely see anybody standing after a pass. It's a pass and a pick. It's a pass and a cut. And now covering this game in my fourth season now, you start to learn some of the intricacies of some of the more successful teams. And, and the players are certainly taking note. This is not a one-on-one -on -one game as you would think, although there is some, some good isolation play. Ball movement. Body movement. She got some aggressive picking going on. Schmidt in the Base mix of it. And then great de defense there from Tayo. Oh, she pulls up and it goes down. Wet business as France leads it by four. So Joe is in her flow. Letting it go from long range. Team France with a four point lead over Team Argentina. Hesitation dribble, drives left. Nowhere to go, good D. Three on the shot clock for Argentina, so they're going to have to be quick in getting the shot up. Otherwise, it's a violation. 12 second shot clocks once again. Make sure you're using that hashtag 3x3WC, also the hashtag watch us play. If you're interacting with us on social media, that would be a shot clock shot violation. violation. You don't have to hashtag that. So the ball over to France. And a, a really clean, cleanly played game. Only a foul apiece. 
dribbles. Oh, and a, and a bad pass there from Pajay. Couldn't get it to Chris. So back over to uh, Argentina. And again, Argentina has participated in every World Cup in 3x3 history. A couple of 11th place finishes, 10th place finish in 2014, 8th place finish in 2016. But uh, each one of the four representing the Argentinian national team for the very first time on the biggest stage in 3x3 basketball. It has been long awaited. Last year in Nantes, it got to uh, set the stage for Set the bar really high. No, no doubt that it's going to get even better this year. France with a disappointing finish the World Cup last year. Tenth place. This is after finishing no worse than fifth. For the 20, team. 16, 14, and 12. The first appearance Free throws missed. These, uh, so Llorente. Oh, oh, look at the fake spin. Oh, look at the body move. control. Beautiful play. That was oh, Grabe. Uh, uh, I, guess, I guess one good move deserves another. Chris. Eleven seven 7 game, France with the lead. Good defense at the rim by Joe. Ooh, wide open two from Diallo. Just a little bit strong on that one. Just a little strong on the defensive end too. We, we let them play a little bit in 3x3. I think it's one of the things that makes, makes our game unique. Referees do a, a great job. Shout out Ref Edith out of uh, the Netherlands. They do a great job of uh, staying on top of the action, keeping it clean, but also letting them play. You're not going to see a bunch of ticky-tack fouls called out here, especially on this stage. Get you some of that as Ale says ole, ole, to the cup. And trims the lead to three. Nayo, good hustle. She got to end up with the rock, though. So Llorente. Gets it over, here's Ale. Likes going to that baseline, starts to pull up. See that fatigue starting to set in a little bit too. It is it is literally a 10 minute sprint. It's Pache! Drip, drip! 13-8. So this is her debut for the 3 x national team. And uh, Pache, we just hit the two-pointer. Also won a gold So medal. another look at the replay here. Paje gets to her spot, games. sets up her feet. Two piece. Chris, instead of putting the shot up, got that ball hopping around the perimeter. Nayo couldn't get the initial shot, but draws the foul off the rebound. And now Nayo will step up to the strike. Coco. Flashes the free throw as France extends the lead to six now. Again, France and China in Pool B. The, uh, the two favorites. We'll see those two uh, lace them up later on this afternoon. We've got a couple of marquee games on the ladies' side. Hungary and Netherlands. Two very talented teams. Had success at the national stage before. Got a tasty game between Poland and Slovenia on the men's side. That's all on deck day one, y'all. Ah. Meantime, Jorente continue to get buckets. It's Tayo. Oh. Soft touch, baseline. Jorente 
Setting up shop on the block, fakes the pass, misses the shot. Joe. Quick down to Nayo. Ale with no choice but to foul. So team France with 14 fouls. Team Caught up in a mismatch there. Fouls. Score, so uh, four 15, fouls now on, uh, with with three fouls, three fouls on Argentina, Argentina, four on France. A buck and a half to play. First to 21 wins it. Or the team with the most points after 10 minutes expires. Cross court. Sorrente. Over to Ale. Nice Down low, Schmidt. Short. Joe, you already know she's going to let that thing go. Oh, bang, bang. Another two ball. And how about Tayo, man? This French team, they can, I mean, they can hurt you inside and out. But Chris doing work on the block, and Nayo, well, Nayo does a little bit of everything. Did I mention she's studying law? I haven't seen her argue with the referees yet. I'm not sure they would win that anyway. Shot clock, Shot clock violation. 17-9. And this is uh this was gotten out of hand. Eight point advantage for Team France. Make that nine and counting. So Ale, I mean uh Page, excuse me. Takes the contact, gets the score, have a chance for a two-point play with uh, 42 ticks left. And this one is a foregone conclusion. France is going to start the day with a W. Argentina, not dead in the water by any stretch. Good D, doesn't go down. To back off. Now, Page Down low. to Chris. Nice Turn around. Just a little bit too strong. Chris reminds me a little, of, a little bit of uh, Sandra Dijon, who represented the uh, French national team several years. Nice, Ooh, nice change of direction. Step. Kick. Open oh. like a double click. Oh. Nayo can't connect, but doesn't matter. They connect the with a W. Team France team starting the day off with the just how they had hoped. 19 to 9. 19 to 9 is how it ends. And a blowout to start the day. This 2018 FIBA 3x3 World Cup. And they bluettes. Look like uh look like they could be obviously one of the top teams. Out of this pool as we look back at some of the highlights in this one. Started off a little bit slow as, as you expect from the first, first game. But working out the nerves a little bit. But uh, once France found their groove, found the strategy, they were able to exploit some of the mismatches, whether it been inside or outside. You saw some of the work that Chris was doing. And even in the loss, uh, Jorente was ridiculous in this game. She's going to be something to deal with here, here in the Philippines. And so we'll get a look at her again later on today. But in the end, some strong D from Team France. Although, Jorente, she, it don't matter what kind of D you got on her. She's she going to give you buckets. Outside of that, though, you saw France pick it up offensively. The shots started falling. That ball started moving. Oh, he's 